Hi everyone, so today we are going to test DeepSeq V3 that released three days ago. So it is a, an open source model and currently there is only the base version and the instruct version. It was trained on uh, uh, H800 GPUs and uh, I will test it against uh, Gemini Experimental 1206 uh, with a temperature of zero and uh, GPT-40 uh, in the chart version. Um, so I'm going to ask him to create, uh, I think, um, a maze a game in Python. And I will ask this to all three models. So let's do it. So what you need to know also is that um, the DeepSeq API is r really cheap. I think it's like uh, 10 cents uh, per million tokens uh, in inputs and like 28 cents per million tokens in outputs. And uh, compared to the previous version of DeepSeq, it's blazing fast. So we can copy the code and let's try to run it. Okay, so it is um, doing it in the in the terminal. Let's see if we can move. Okay, so we are P and we can move in the maze. Can we go down? Yeah. Let's go, try to go in the wall. Okay, so we can't go in the wall but we can complete the maze let's see if we can yeah so we managed to escape the game so it's working well let's see for um, gemini experimental i think they will both uh, manage to do it okay so the maze is way more difficult uh, but it's kind of the same idea yeah, so we are P for player, and we can move. I, th I think it will work. So let's try with um, a more difficult um, uh, game. So let's try with the Pac-Man game. Create the Pac-Man game in Python without any external assets. Let's ask him. Let's also ask uh, Gemini and chat GPT. So let's try up. So it has finished. We can paste it and try it. Okay, I need Pygame. Uh, I need to activate my environment. So then slash and now let's run it install pi game okay so i'm back i had uh, some troubles with the uh, pi game because i'm on the uh, arm based pc so uh, i'm what i'm going to do is to use replit to continue the test so here up i paste the deepseek version of uh, the Pac-Man game and let's see what it does. So I'm going to go to output. So we get some enemies that move. We are uh, yellow dots. So it's not really pretty, but it is working. I can move in the, in the correct directions. Uh, the enemies are moving. But it's not really quite that yet. Now let's test with the Google Gemini 1. So I'm going to test it, run. Okay, so I have some issues. Okay, does it seems to work? 
verify blah 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 okay let's see okay so it is working so it's look like the real game but i don't really understand what is going on who i am oh okay um in the bottom corner and i can hit some dots so definitely impressing we have a good map um, but terminal is not quite a good idea for me and we got power ups we can hit uh, the the ghost so it's pretty incredible compared to the to the DeepSeek one. Now let's we will try with Chat GPT. Paste, save, and run. Uh, okay. We can move, but only one by one. We can hit some dots. We have only one in me, and the map is really bad. And we don't have any graphical interface. It's only in the terminal. So, and we get a score, which is quite nice. So I think for me, the best current model is a Gemini 1206. Um, and uh, it is uh, indeed one of the leading in the benchmarks. So I hope um, you enjoy this video and I have a nice day. Bye-bye.